is Cyclopean Tomb. And we are going to be playing in the Eternal Draft Masters Challenge today. Yeah, I qualified for it a couple times. Uh, yeah, I think the first two or three months I qualified the top 100. And uh, yeah, I've just hit top 100 occasionally every once in a while. So uh, let's get this event going. I'm very excited about this. Let's see what we open. All right. I like to start with the with with the omens of the past first. See what we got going on. All right, a couple of good cards. We got clan hero, always a good solid dude. Come with the skycrag, uncommons. Not so great. Let's see what our rare is. Ooh, that's that's always a good dude. Three three flyer for three. Can't really beat that, honestly. All right. Ooh, a mythic. Let's see what we got going on. A uh, couple good cards. I got a good trick here. Good beater. With the uh, Oasis Seeker. And let's see what we got. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Heart of the Vault. Wow. All right. Well, I think I want to be white. Uh, I think I want to be Time Fire right now. I think that's uh, that's the game plan. Let's look for Time Fire. Especially with that influence cost. It's going to be, uh, we need to be heavy in Time Fire. All right. And there's some Time Fire cards here. Let's see what we got going on. Frozen Nightshade, uh, Fenris Nightshade. Ah, I mean, that's all right. It's a good good card advantage engine. All right, let's see what else we got. Yeah, some good cards here. Meh. I can't imagine our glass is not doing it for me. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, boo -doo -boo -boo. All right, we got some cards. Nothing really too exciting, though, not to be honest. What's this Dire Beast? A life steal for three? Oh, that guy's pretty cool. All right, what do we got? Secret weapon. Wow. That's really cool. But, yeah, alrighty. Not, not time or fire. Let's make that happen. Ooh, char. That is time or fire. That's Timer Fire. Horn of Plenty. Oh, wow. I've gotten wrecked by that so many times in draft. It's such a good card. Especially at a common. Smuggler. But that's not my colors. Well, I guess I just can't be too solid on Time Fire. But I just kind of want to make that work. Oh, I got two, two flyers in blue, though. With that Cloud Snake and then Tamaris. Huh. Card's really good because it also has that deal with damage ability. Hmm. All right. Well, let's just open up our last pack and then we can see where we're going. <sighs> yeah. All right. I'm liking Time Fire. I think we got we got enough pieces. Blue is just getting all the all the rares though. It seems like. All right. I mean, that's not bad. It's a three five for four. They can occasionally get a dude. All right, let's, let's build our deck here. Let's see what we got going on. All right, so let's just do. Let's just build a time fire. Let's just see how that looks. Yeah, a couple of those dudes. What's this guy? Ruins guide. This turn. That's a two two for two. All right, yeah, for, sounds good. Grenade. Grenade's all right. If we had maybe some Liller dudes. Oh, I didn't even realize we had a Streets of Flame, too. Wow. Okay. Yeah, our red looks pretty good. That guy's good. Uh, we can see how much we have for Scout, because I want to play Needle Spitter. That's one of my favorite cards. It's kind of a... Kind of not always the best dude, but this guy, just plus uh, Blurry Chaser. I mean, you just go to town. You put a little little buff on Blurry Chaser, and I've I've sometimes I've attacked with a twelve a twelve three needle split uh, needle splitter, and I just I've I've wrecked face before with it, but yeah that was in draft. Seal's a little bit different game. Might be a little slower, but I'm liking this I'm liking this red overheat. I'll come back to that. Let's see what White's giving us. Fody, got another another scout there. Wow, our two drops are insane. We got lucky on two drops. Stampede, no thank you. Don't need that. That card's good. I'll play Grave Tender. I'll play these two dudes. I'll play that guy, that. Yeah, I think we're doing it. 
I think we did it. Is I don't think we need to do anything else besides this white red. Besides this time fire. I am digging it. Oh, I'm just blue. I'm just I just going past all these flyers. <laughs> uh yeah, plus the, the earth sign. Ooh. Yeah, I'm digging blue too. That's a hard one. The white time. Hmm. Let's see, we got Shadow, the Beast. The Fanatic is good with the Beast and Razor Quill. But, yeah, I, there's just no point. Though, I do have Splash for it if I wanted to do. But the only Splash I would really want would be Eviscerate. And that's double. So we're not going to do that. We're going to play Clan Tactics and a Brilliant Discovery. Oh, yeah, Brilliant Discovery. That's a good one. That puts us at 27. I am okay with that. 27. Do we have any power? 18 power. 810. Oh, uh, let's see. Is it really that, that lopsided? Do we have... What's our double looking like? Oops. All right, what's our double looking like? Nothing. We got the Rallying Sergeant, the Heart of the Vault, Terror Shocker, Belching Behemoth. 21 units with two Horn of Plenties. Sounds really cool in my book. For Char, Blink, Street of Flame, Blink Discovery. Blink Discovery, 18 power. Huh. I like the curve a lot. This curve is really good. My twos are amazing. Let's see. Three. Grave Tenders. Quicksilver Oozes. Those things have been a lot better than I, I would have thought they would have been. I'm very impressed. You just use it once and you got yourself a 3-1 and a 2-2. Two, two. It's really just a good way to get card advantage, really. I mean, it costs three, so it's basically like a whole turn in the early game. But it can just get you that card advantage. I'm actually like super pretty okay with this deck. Let's just do one more check through just to make sure I got everything I wanted. All right, let's look at fire first. Yep, not happening, buddy. Sorry. Looking good. Grenade is always an option, especially with... 21 units that feels like I should try to have it in there but at the same time like I really just kind of don't like grenade it's just never really been a favorite card of mine if it was a fast spell like no yeah no no question about it we would have been all over grenade but yeah I just can't do a regular spell let's see it's just too too many options to get card at disadvantage just leaving it open out there I'm liking this deck and the curve. Let's see. Devotee. Those two drops are solid. All right. Now the question is, do I play the subterranean sentry? I feel like that's the that's the that's the biggest question I have about this. I feel like I'm going pretty big, but I'm also going pretty small too with all the two drops I have. But I do have a couple of big boys. But I got enough big boys. So I do not need to play a 7-7. Seven, seven. Belching Behemoth, 7, was it 7 cost, 7-8? Seven, and that's just a big guy. I've just, I've seen Belching Behemoth and Sealed especially just come back to, to swing the game in your favor. That gain 6 life is a big deal. Alrighty, well, I think the only thing that I'm, a little bit down on is my four drops not being there with only the two primeval plover and then we got the stinging wind which it's a bummer that guy got nerfed but it makes sense it used to be a three four all righty well i am just super happy with with this deck two colors sealed 21 units double horn of plenty couple of spells of removal and then i got the bomb in heart of the vault 
So let's run this. Let's see how this goes. All right, see you at game one.